fireworks. There she is, the javelin. That's what we're gonna be looking at today. At least that's what I've been having the hardest time trying to uh, get into today. Everything's been trying to keep me away from it, but today it's gonna happen. Not even that's gonna stop me. Whatever the fuck that was. Alright, so this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna have to do this in a really wonky manner. Because I'm naked. And uh, I don't have any clothing to put on. So I'm trying to get as close to this door as I can. I think that that's probably close enough. All right, let's see if we can survive the run. Hold your breath. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Whew. A little chilly. We almost didn't make that. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Oh, much better. Alright, now. Elevator me. I think I want security... Port C? <laughs> Here we go. Run down the long hallway. Till our heart explodes. Welcome aboard the UEES Warhammer. As part of this year's Invictus celebrations, I'd like to invite you to take a look around and get an up close look at an active military vessel. Some of the actual crew members have graciously volunteered their time to explain what life is like aboard the ship. I would like to remind you that the entire ship is not available for exploration, so please be respectful of unauthorized areas. Thank you, and enjoy your visit. I'm going to try to get into every area that I'm not allowed to get into. Trust. Starting here. Well, already failing. What do we have here? A turret? One of the turrets. That's cool. Well, might as well enter it. See what it looks like. Oh yeah. Them some big old guns, man. 
I mean, they move pretty slow, but they are humongous. And they have two different options on the guns, that's cool. You can fire revenants or you can fire the big ol' laser cannons. Sleeping quarters. This way? Maybe? <laughs> yeah. Lots of freaking beds. You guys all in line for the bathroom? Is that what this is? Yeah, you just get it. Excuse me, I'll go. Oh, no, it's the mess hall. Ooh. Really? Ski ball. Or not, not, even, not ski ball. Uh, wow. <laughs> Aaron would hate me for that. Air hockey. <laughs> Space Race Vanguard Force 4 Oh, Hyper Vanguard Force M Moon Assault Nexus Man Game Over Man <laughs> Galactic Warfare Oh, there's always a broken one Always one machine that's not quite working right. Alright, we go upper, we go lower. Let's go lower. What's up, brah? Starbird. Can't go. Engine room. Can't go. Cell 1 through 14. Also can't go. Alright, this entire deck sucks. Um, do you guys just live down here in the dark? Is that what I'm saying? You guys are all really creepy down here, you know that, right? Kind of hanging out down here. That light just turned out when I was walking towards the door. I think I'm good. This is like a horror movie down here. Let me get, let me go on back upstairs where life is not scary as hell. Yeah, hey, bro. Let's see. Bridge and armory. Bridge and armory. Danger. Danger. High voltage. Briefing. Armory. Let's go to the briefing room. Hello, and welcome to the UEES Warhammer. This Javelin class destroyer was originally built by Aegis Dynamics and has been in active service since 2832. Launching under the command of Captain Omar Singh, the ship initially served as a combat support vessel in the 2nd Fleet, 6th Battle Group, a posting that put it close to the Vandal Front. The Warhammer saw action during the fall of Caliban in 2884, 
were protected retreating civilian and naval forces when the system ultimately fell, earning a ribbon for valor in the process. It's got such big old fat boy guns. The Warhammer transition between fleets in a variety of support and patrol positions. Size seven ballistic cannons. Push to reclaim the Nexus system in the 2930s. Most recently, the Warhammer distinguished itself as the primary combat vessel to repel the outlaw group known as Xenotrek from the Stanton system. Since then, the Warhammer has been placed in dry dock for repairs, but is heading back to active service once this year's Invictus festivities are concluded. Oh, yeah? The room you're currently seated in is the main briefing room for the entire ship. Based around a hollow volume built by Microtech, the crew gathers here to discuss everything from battle strategies to repair schedules. The marine detail assigned to this ship also uses this room to plan out their boarding actions or outline combat strategies. This room has even acted as a venue for off-duty activities, such as vid screens or sporting event parties. We hope that you'll take the opportunity to explore the ship and get an up-close look at one of the vanguards of order. On behalf of Captain Metcalf and the rest of the crew, I want to wish you a fantastic Invictus. I hope we see you next year. Right on. <clears throat> uh, lady. Hello, I would like to have that outfit. Well, that shirt. Alright, armory. Open? Okay. Maybe this door will open. Maybe this door will not open. Is there any way for me to at least go see the bridge? Because if I'm not mistaken. Hello, welcome to damn it. See, that says bridge slash armory, as well as that. Oh, I see. Oh, son of a bitch, now everybody's walking around. Like, the world came to life all of a sudden. And guards are actually guarding areas you can't go to. Okay. Get out of my way. All of you too. Hello everyone. My name's Lieutenant Horrigan, and as you can probably tell, I saw definitely one of the more popular spaces on the ship. The mess has a fully automated dispensary since we operate on rotating shifts. We have a standard crew cop number 65 to 70, and meals need to be available at all times, so we have a culinary team always on duty, ready to lend support. Really? That's not just all like making food for people and people actually are making? I don't believe you. Cargo. Nope. <laughs> this year's Invicta celebrations, I'd like to invite you to take a look around and get an up close look at an escape pods. Some of the actual crew members have graciously volunteered their time. All 
All right, let's settle down. My name's Lieutenant Commander Alderman. I run the turret complement aboard the Warhammer. Hmm. That means I'm in charge of coordinating fire between our base Neat. gunners during a combat engagement. In you guys are just no fun, are you? I might be a little bit lost. These are... why is there two... Oh, level three security personnel. Everyone else. <laughs> I bet you there's a captain's quarters and shit too, but we can't get to it right now because... reasons. So if I go all the way this way, Hello, everyone. that leads to the med bay. I bet you on the other side of the med bay is how you get to the other half of the ship. And they don't want people going there, apparently. Because again, reasons. Ah, here we go. And the fireworks begin. Let's go ahead and get a better camera angle. <coughs> so it lets go like a... Like pretty much any other ship does. Like a mess. That's cool. I love the like little light show we got going on as it backs out. Frame rates are dropping because of them, that but that's okay. I'll just go ahead and uh, look over this way. Maybe that'll help. Alright, well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did so, leave a like and subscribe and come back for more. Just go ahead and keep looking at them, because fuck it. It's more fun that way. Aw, oh, I think they're done. Alright, well, let's watch a QT then. Or a quantum jump. Or very slowly turn towards this quantum jump. Jesus. There we go. Get lined up. And it's gone. Well, bye.